So what if I actually want to kind of work on this a little bit more? Maybe I want to change my query. Maybe I want to see the different uh, categories that these different queries come from. You know, I, I doubt uh, Wisconsin Energy is of the same category as Delta Airlines, for example. So maybe I want to look at these in a different light, maybe organize them a little better. I can come up to my connections option and just like when we were working off the text file, I can select my connection and click properties. This is going to show me the same kind of options, just a little different since we're dealing with the database, but it also gives me this definition tab. Now we get a lot of crazy stuff here, connection string, command text, ooh, scary. But what this allows us to do is actually click on this edit query option. This is going to bring up the same menu options that we saw in the last video. And if I click on company and I just add in this category of category, now all of a sudden I've added in more queries. I can click next. I'm going to remove portfolio percentage. Maybe I want to see all my different guys. And so I don't want to ostracize anything. Notice whenever I remove that query, it's no longer bold. So I'll keep on going, I'll hit next. And maybe first I wanna actually sort by my category. And I'll, I'll say in ascending order. Then I wanna look at it as my portfolio percentage. So show me the different categories, show them in order, but show my percentage from highest to lowest. I hit next, I hit finish. Everything over here, you notice there's a little change that occurred here. Uh, where are you, category. Is right there I hit OK and notice what happened in the background as soon as I close out of this you can see we have industrial transportation and utilities in alphabetical order and now we've got our percentage our portfolio percentage as well in descending order 